Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I want to talk about an old topic that I covered almost a year ago on my channel. I don't know if you guys remember but I made a video about this model who faked her eye condition for sympathy and cloud and when she couldn't fake her heterochromia anymore because she was getting exposed left and right by her own parents and school friends, she went to India to get an illegal eye color lens surgery to keep up the lie. The commentary part about this model wasn't really the main point of that video since I was spending most of the time exposing the illegal surgery company called Bright Ocular. Ice gray. I like it a lot more than my natural brown eyes, which is very typical. Dr. Stark says that shaving causes pieces of the iris to float inside the eye and they get clogged up, producing severe glaucoma. This is potentially blinding procedure as well. When I finished editing this video, I was already preparing myself to get some sort of backlash either from the model herself or from the company and I was right. Because four days after I uploaded the video, I got a very shifty takedown notice and a bunch of claims of an unknown person. So rather than fighting the claim, I just deleted the video and re-uploaded it again. Thankfully, it was good the second time, I didn't get any claims or anything like that. But after a week of the video being online, I got a super lengthy email from the company themselves. So if you guys don't know, Bright Ocular is a very controversial company who practices illegal eye color changing surgery. Many patients came forward sharing their horrible story on how Bright Ocular damaged their eyesight. Some patients went actually blind. So in the email, Bright Ocular writes that the two patients in my video went to a hospital which they banned from performing the surgery, which I find very hard to believe because one of the patient is literally on Brad Ocular's side credited as a happy customer who even gave a testimonial for Brad Ocular's YouTube channel. By the way, she went partially blind. You can see her story on her personal YouTube channel. Then in the email, the company goes on saying how there are hundreds of procedures that can have complications and that these patients didn't follow the doctor's instructions after the surgery properly, etc. Basically trying to gaslight their victims. And then there is a whole Whole lot of text basically just repeating the same thing over and over it's really not saying much but then at the end they have the audacity to write and I quote we look forward to hearing back from you and how this can be resolved we know you don't have ill intentions of slandering a company with misinformation and are going by what is found on the internet we would appreciate if you can make the appropriate edits if you have no intention of taking down the video we will await your response. The sheer audacity to first of all write me a lengthy email saying I should not make a video on them because I'm spreading misinformation when your own two patients, your own two patients are out there on YouTube telling what a bad company you are. And second, how the freak is any of my commentary about the illegal surgery slander when I'm just giving those victims another platform? And by the way, I'm backing all that info up with actual eye doctors research. Any doctor that tries to talk a patient into having this procedure done actually is not only unethical, they are immoral. All they want is your money. Imagine being a whole ass illegal company and trying to get a commentary video taken down because you couldn't do your job right. At that time, I was in contact with Patty, one of the patients who almost went blind. I was, you know, asking about her eyesight, how she was doing, etc. And when I got that email from Bright Ocular, I told her what happened too. I wrote, Hi Patty, today I got an email from Bright Ocular. The consultant accused me of slandering the company and she said that I should edit the misinformation out if I don't have any intention of taking down the video. Obviously, I'm not going to answer them and I'm also not going to change anything about the video because I will leave your story and the other victim's stories. And then Patty responded with, Hi sweetie, don't listen to she did the same thing to me, threatening me with everything she can. They are desperate because they are losing millions of dollars because of our videos. There are hundreds of people canceling their appointments because of our experience. They will tell you they will sue you for defamation, but they can't. We are telling the truth. They are still trying to threaten me to not upload any more videos. So at that time, I thought about making another video on Bright Ocular because they were literally trying to silence their patients and other 
other YouTubers, which is another whole case of illegal shit. But for some reason, I kept postponing it because every time I thought about it and the email and the victims and just the whole situation, it just angered me so much that I maybe subconsciously just try to forget it. But now, reflecting on the current situation going on in the world, I thought, no, I should definitely address this. And from now on, I decided every time something truly angers me, I will definitely make a video on it. Doesn't matter if I come off as a hating bitch, I don't care. I stand for what is true and I will not let anyone silence my opinions. Even though some of my opinions may be absolute garbage to some people, I don't care. So for the end of the video, I'm gonna open some fan mail. So the first letter is from the United States. Ooh. Oh, so cute. Thank you. I love that. The next letter is from Germany. Oh my god, there's so much to read. I love it. <laughs> Wow, thank you for that long letter. It was definitely <laughs> a wild ride. <laughs> so let's see what these things are. A bunch of little stickers of flowers. Oh my god, so cute. Thank you. Oh, I think those are like German poems. Oh, yeah. And two cute photographs. Very poetic, thank you. And song recommendations, thank you so much. And a little drawing, oh. And another poem, oh, so cute, thank you. So the next letter is from Lithuania. I don't know what this is and I'm kind of scared. This is so adorable. Oh my god, this is so cute and kind of creepy too. It's a little teddy bear. Are these real? That art. Here are some songs for you. Thank you. I don't have any dead insects for you, so I added a few clay worms I made. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought those were real. Like, they look so real. I will definitely use them for my next creations. A little clay fish in a bottle. So cute. I love it. Thank you for the bottles. Oh yes, I always need those. White pearls. Oh, thank you so much for those. I will definitely use them. Thank you. Another little bottle. Two rings for jewelry making. Pooch nails. What are these called in English? Let me know. Oh my god, crystal charms. Thank you. Earrings and... I don't know how to call them, but I also always need those. Spooky charms and some O-rings. Definitely gonna use all of it. Thank you, thank you so much. And last but not least, we have a package from Germany. Alright. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Oh, liebe Michelle, ich schaue deine Videos jetzt mittlerweile zwei Jahre. Wow. Oh, danke, Lara. So cute. Do you see that? <laughs> Oh my god, look at these handmade stickers. Aren't they cute? This looks like my cat Elon. No, you didn't. She found a little butterfly wing and she sent it to me. That's the cutest thing ever. Oh my god, thank you so much. Okay. Pink nail polish. Ooh, I'm so bad at painting nails. Smells interesting, but I don't know what it is. But it's a cute bottle. <laughs> oh, a primer. Thank you. I think those are glitter. Yes. No, it's not glitter. It's. Oh. Ooh. Oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much again for sending me all those lovely gifts and yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this whole bright ocular situation. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!